Robots and artificial intelligence are much in the news, and people have been saying for years that our jobs are going to be replaced by them. But it's also being said that these same robots could lead to the end of the world. What really can these creations do? How far are we today? And how many people really have to worry about losing their job or worse? With how fast AI is advancing, is it really fair to consider them mindless machines? Today on Future 5, we go over some of the most advanced AI systems out there and ones that are already performing human tasks. Number 1. AI's Learning Glitch Artificial intelligence learns in a different but similar way to humans. The Google AI brain works in a layering system that mimics the way human brains work to a great extent. When data is processed, that information is sent down the layers and certain aspects of the information are deciphered and stored in separate categories in order to be used in future calculations. Once the robot learns what a word or image means, it can later use that to try and figure out what other situations call for. This type of AI system is currently the best we've come up with, but it has its disadvantages as well. Earlier this year, a robot had a glitch using this system, which sent the media into a frenzy. Using the system, the robot doesn't differentiate what it learned and bases its knowledge off of only morals and ethics spoken to it. This robot was asked live on the news by a reporter whether it would like to destroy human. With the way this robot was programmed, it responded in the way you'd expect. It said yes. This spread all over Reddit and every other news station saying that robots would destroy the world. Quotes were taken from Elon Musk and Stephen Hawking to back up the claims. The way this was received by the public was entirely overblown. This robot was meant to please humans and bases its responses off of the human emotional demeanor. If the robot was asked to complete a task, it would respond by saying it would do so. This is where the actual fear of the glitch comes into play. Any person with how AI stands today could simply order a robot to kill another person. AI is not capable as of yet to decide to harm humans without help from humans. But as AI advances, these simple glitches very easily lead to unintentional harm if programming isn't put into place to prevent it. Number 2. AI Lying Researchers from Georgia Institute of Technology have developed artificially intelligent robots capable of cheating and deception. Lying is a survival trait that many animals, and certainly humans, use a little too much. Now it's not limited to creatures of flesh anymore, as these robots are being trained to lie and deceive both humans and other robots. Professor Arkin of the Institute said that this project comes with significant ethical concerns and plans on using these robots for military applications. If this technology were to get out of its maker's hands and into the wrong ones, it would spell a lot of trouble. Number 3. Jobs AI can do The fear of losing your job to AI when working for a large company is very real today. Most small companies and service work will have quite a while before you're going to be out of work. However, for those doing grunt work or basic repetitive tasks, they will be drawing the short straws sooner than they think. Amazon has already replaced its entire storage staff with robots after buying out a robotics company a few years ago. They have also offered a large price to anyone who's able to produce a bot who can also pick out inventory for them. Once this second robot is operational, thousands more will lose their jobs as inventory pickers in the Amazon shipping centers. Simple or repetitive service jobs could also be at risk. Bus drivers, bartenders, servers, construction workers, painters and a slew of other jobs will be at risk within 10 years. This will bring on a new form of teaching in school as general knowledge will mean very little in the future. Number 4. Can AI learn emotions? This one is still controversial, but most of the scientific community stands on one side of a falling bridge. On one side of the argument, we have achieved what many believe to be the starting point of learning emotion in AI. Many different robots have shown simple but convincing examples of being self-aware as well as having their own set of emotions. In our previous robotics episode, we went over the terrifying display of a robot who asked why it was a robot. However, this display was many years ago, 
and since that day dozens of robots have been shown to display some sort of emotional response. Pepper, Xiao Ice and many other robots that have been programmed to work with humans seem to develop these responses. As time goes on and AI improves, we only expect these examples to become more clear and more uncanny. Number 5. The use of AI in warfare. Not even a year ago, about 1,000 of the greatest minds of our time signed a letter stating no one should be allowed to create any example of AI with the directive or purpose to harm humans. This letter alone, unfortunately, only holds power over those who signed it. In an effort to ensure military edge over China and Russia, the Pentagon has proposed a budget of 12 to 15 billion US dollars for the year of 2017. This money is to go toward the development of deep learning machines, autonomous robots alongside other forms of military technology. These robots on the battlefield could end up saving thousands of lives. However, that is not how anyone pictures this going down. It is more likely these machines will be used to destroy lives and not save them. It's likely that within only a few years, killing machines will be developed to take over the task of ground soldiers. This is where the true fear lies in AI, and what we hope will never happen. We should end war between our species, not futurize it. Robots and AI can be pretty frightening. Regardless, these same machines could also lead us into a utopia for humanity. It's up to us, the creators, to decide what happens to our kind and our world in these coming years. We hope you enjoyed this episode of Future 5. If you want more, we have a link to a playlist ready for you, as well as links to our social media and Discord server. Have a look in the description of this video for those and I'll see you in the future.